Hi guys, welcome to Millfield. Today's the last uh, spring and we've had such a good season with our wool shires. We've had them for a couple of years now and I thought I'd share with you the reasons why we got wool shire sheep in case you're thinking of getting wool shires too. So as I said in the intro, I want to tell you the reasons why we got wilties. And the first and main reason is that easy care, low maintenance. You really don't have to do as much with the Wilshire sheep as you do with other breeds. First off, you don't have to shear them. If you've only got a few sheep, trying to get a shear out can be a bit of a hassle, but Wilties, their wool just falls off every spring, biodegrades in the paddock, and then in autumn it grows back, prepping them up for the winter season. Secondly, they're very disease resistant. We've never had any issues with foot rot and they can handle parasites very well and their parasite burden is very low so you don't have to bring drenching into your standard farm practice. So it just makes them a real low maintenance sheep. So the second reason for Wilshire sheep is their meat. So if like us, you're looking for a sheep breed to feed you and your family, then Wilties are just fantastic. They're bred purely for meat, not meat and wool, meaning they have a high quality, leaner meat. And because they don't put their energy into growing wool, their lambs grow bigger and faster. Also, the mums are really good mums, so you have a much higher survival rate of your lambs. And Wilties generally have between two and three lambs every year. So from our seven ewes and one ram, we get 12 to 14 lambs each year, which is enough to feed us. So reason number three, they're just a great breed for a small family farm. They're quiet, so if like us, your paddocks are located close to your house, you don't have to worry about them making too much noise and ruining your peace and quiet. Secondly, they have great characters. Um, they're a bit smarter than other sheep and they form their own individual characters which would be great for the family and the kids. And they also find their own natural rhythm and by that I mean we keep our ram in with our ewes 10 months of the year and yet they still all breed within a three week period. We only take our ram out when it's time for lambing so it means we can get better utilisation of our smaller property. So our Wilshires have horns as well. Um, now you may not like horns, so there is a polled breed, so you can get them without horns. For us, it's not an issue having horns, so we've never worried about it. So keep it simple, keep enjoy farming. See you later.